Hello and welcome to Warlords of Draenor Questlines. Today I'll be covering the defensive Karabor scenario. After forcing Ner'zhul to flee and stopping the Dark Star, only one goal remains left in Shadowmoon Valley. This goal is to stop the Iron Horde from capturing the Draenei Temple of Karabor. The scenario will start off when you speak to Yorel right after the cinematic has played. Murad will arrive with a few Fey Dragons and he will give you a quest to escort your garrison army into Karabor. During this section your only goal is to use your main ability on the Fey Dragon, which is an AoE, to clear the Iron Horde that blocks your army from advancing. As far as I know there is no way to fail this portion of the quest, so you can take your time killing the mobs. Once your army has reached the top you will be flown to one side of the temple and the scenario will begin. There will be two packs of mobs before you reach your first objective, which is to defeat Arnok the Burner. Arnok the Burner has a few easy to dodge moves that you should be aware of. Fiery Blast will shoot forward from him like a flamethrower. He will slowly turn around while he casts it, so move in the direction he is moving to avoid it. Burn will do a conal attack in front of him, which is easy to dodge. And finally, Scorched Earth, which he will burn the ground in front of him while he walks backwards. During the fight, adds will spawn and join in. Force them to stand in front of Fiery Blast to kill them quickly. When Arnok is dead, head through the tunnel behind him. The next section will be constantly bombarded, so try to avoid the many orange swirls on the ground, as they actually do a lot of damage. During this part, you will find NPCs which are under attack. If you help them, they will heal you once the mobs are dead. Head down the stairs to the docks to meet with Yorel. Once you find Yorel, you will have to defend the Naru as he begins to cast a spell. During this period, groups of Iron Horde Orcs will attack you. They die pretty quickly, but if you are not fast, they can start to overwhelm you. After a short period of time, an Iron Horde Brute will attack. The only move you need to worry about with the Brutes is a slam which shows a large circle on the ground you need to avoid. Once the spell is done, you will encounter the Iron Horde Commander Vorka. This fight can get a little hectic as he has two different bombard abilities he uses. Fire Support Black Skies will cause the ships to launch a barrage of rockets in a straight line, which is outlined by the orange swirls. Fire Support Blackest Skies is worse than the other as he begins to bombard the entire area. This lasts for quite some time and can kill you quickly if you stop moving. Other than that, stay behind him and the fight should go down easily. Once Vorka is dead, a short cinematic plays as the Naru destroys the Iron Horde ships and saves Karabor. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you later.